Hey, what's up you guys and welcome to another video on the channel. Now I want to introduce a brand new series to you guys called In My 20s Diaries. Now the reason why I want to start this series is because I had this thing going on called random vlogs, which I would do every maybe every other week, every month. And again, it wasn't consistent, but that, that's not the point. And it wasn't really meaningful. It didn't really have much context, but I thought this brand new series, which would be again, In My 20s Diaries, just ties it in. I think it was gonna be a lot more meaningful and I think it's gonna be a lot nicer for me to also look back at in a couple of years, which for me is what this whole channel is about. It's about documenting my life. Okay, now that I've introduced the whole series, I think it's a perfect opportunity for us to go back to one month ago, two months ago, when I was in New York designing my own freaking collection. So let's take it back, enjoy the video. Okay guys, so uh, officially in New York. I'm about to meet the designer, like the owner of the brand, uh, Jose, right now. And before I get into the full details, I just wanted to do a quick backstory. So I actually used to watch Jose a lot on YouTube before and I used to like steal almost like his mannerisms. And stuff. Now tip number one I'm gonna give you guys is accessories for men. And for me personally, I love accessories so, so much because when you're wearing a very simple outfit, it definitely helps you look a lot more stylish. Accessorize, hands down, the easiest and fastest way to increase your style. Which is so weird thinking about it now that I used to do that. But now it's come full circle and I'm actually gonna work with him and do all of these things. So it's pretty crazy actually. Um, I always thought that I'd be doing like my own line or my own brand or whatnot, but I didn't really see it coming this way. But you know, I'm not mad, like it's freaking sick. Plus I'm in New York, so, and I've also got my girlfriend with me here behind the camera. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, she's helping me film everything. So um, yeah, it's gonna be good, good content. Guys, okay, so we got to the offices. And, oh my God, it's so good. We're growing brand, we have bunch of brands so yeah. all samples come in here we get the process tested the whole night we got our own barber shop yeah wow uh all the lines are going to go there and then we just painted ba based on so here we're shooting video we needed i don't know if you can tell behind it mm -hmm. uh, we just we painted it cement color so this is the goal after every launch we want it gone like this yeah, empty <laughs> and then it's produced and remember every fabric reacts differently too yeah. so things to consider right like the same chocolate. It could be the same baton color, but it'll look different on the vest and the t-shirt. All right guys, so I just wrapped my first in-person meeting for designing my own collection. Now, this is like the craziest thing, and I, I hate to use the same vernacular over and over again, but this is insane. Like, I don't think you guys get how incredible of an opportunity this is. The fact that I get to come here, show them pieces that I genuinely love and that I've been using for years in my rotation and my wardrobe, to then making my own version of it. Like it's really given me an insight of like owning a brand, running a business and all these exciting things that come with being a content creator. So it's sick. Like I just, I'm so excited for you guys to see everything, the whole process. Um, can't leak anything, but it's just, it's incredible. Like it's so good. All right guys, day two in New York City and today we're gonna do pretty much like my favorite thing to do whilst I'm out here and it's do shopping, browsing through the stores here because I feel like like the US has like the best shopping stores out there. So again, we're gonna do a little bit of browsing, a little bit of shopping. Um, this is the outfit for today. Pretty cool, like whenever I come to New York, I do like to just dress a little bit different to what I'd wear in London because back home, I normally wear just like black, you know, but like I've got a tie on, I've got a shirt, and just make it look a little bit different, and it also looks cooler for fit pics. Um, so yeah, very excited, I'm gonna bring you guys with me, so um, yeah, let's, let's go. This is such a grail hoodie, and I wish it was my size. 895 pounds though. Anyways, we're currently in the streets of Soho and it's, I'm at that phase right now where I have an apartment and I'm looking for artwork. So this stuff is kind of interesting, you know? 
Maybe not this. <laughs> Maybe not this vibe. But um, yeah. Anyways, we're looking for like painting, something to frame up in my apartment. Hopefully, we find something. That looks weird. Why does that look so weird? Second shot. This is usually pretty good. So if you guys are in New York, check that out. So. Also, I haven't bought anything. Just kind of sad. Anyways, guys, so that's basically it for the shopping and browsing of clothing in Soho. It's always great fun, to be honest. I do really enjoy it. Um, and I didn't actually buy anything apart from this Arcteryx beanie, which I don't know how I feel about yet. It's new, it's different. I used to wear beanies a little bit more, um, maybe like two years ago and then I completely scrapped them. And then now I feel like they're making a bit of a comeback. So I got this beanie and I like the pattern on it. So I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. But yeah, we're on our way right now to a place called like Hudson Yards, which you guys are gonna see. It's like so incredible. It looks so, so nice. Um, and yeah, I'll, I'll show you guys when we get there. Okay, so we got to location number one, which is that thing. I think they call it the vessel. So freaking cool. Okay, so guys, right behind me, is a huge cardboard box and inside it is a mirror. Now I've actually waited, I wanna say two and a half months, maybe three months for this mirror. And for those of you guys that have been following me on Instagram, you guys know I've been looking for a curved mirror that's pretty big. And I believe I found it, but again, I don't know what it's gonna look like in person. So let's unbox it. So I'm also shooting this unboxing for Instagram and TikTok, which means I have to use my phone over here it makes everything two times longer um because i have to make sure you guys are seeing it in an aesthetic way you know and then instagram needs to see it in a cool way so i just really want to uh, open it you know but have to frame up now so Finally, it's up and it's ready and it's on display. This is the mirror. I think she is so stunning. I think the shape is cool. Whenever I wanna go ahead and just do any sort of styling videos and I need to look at my outfit, I would go into the bathroom and I would just look at myself through there which is just, it's not ideal, I don't want to do that. Plus, I couldn't even see my whole fit. Now I think the next step is really to kind of relocate everything in my apartment, because I've got quite a lot of stuff. You can see that looks pretty messy. And then I've got these like sofas here, which brown and gray, I don't love the mixture of it. It's just this brown one that's so, so ugly. Um, so I'm probably gonna have to get rid of that. Um, but nonetheless, everything is coming together. And one thing that I need to remind myself is that, you know, you're not meant to have a perfect apartment in three, four months. Like, it's just not going to happen. You need to slowly build into it, which is obviously what I'm trying to... Also, I recently got this, which is a diffuser. You probably saw it in the background. It's so freaking good and it's so important to make your apartment and everything smell good. Um, it's from Muji. And then someone the other day told me that I need more plants, so I actually got this beauty it doesn't have a name yet um but she fits in very nicely and you could probably tell that this is actually a different day a different outfit um i actually unboxed the mirror yesterday um but for some reason i just got sidetracked or something i just didn't end the video when i was meant to um but yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and do it now uh, this is basically the end of episode one of in my 20s diaries hopefully you guys enjoyed it let me know in the comment section down below if you want to see more and again, the whole point of this is to just to bring you guys in to my life a little bit more and to experience the things that I get to experience. So, um, yeah, I'll catch you in the very next video. And you know, we're not going to
act like we want it all right now because we still have some more business ahead of us. You know, we're just going to keep playing hard and whatever happens, happens. If since you have shocked everybody here, what do you take out of this game for game two? We know we can win, you know, and we knew we can win before we came here. You know, everybody, you know, counted us out, like I said, but, you know, they thought we were going to get swept, you know, and that's just like a slap in the face for everything that we worked for all year. And I'm just happy my teammates hung in there and we got this win.